In this experiment, we have a cart that's going to roll across the table. The cart has a launcher on top that's going to launch a ball straight up into the air. Watch what happens when the ball is launched while the cart is moving. Okay, so the ball went straight up in the air, but when it fell back down, it fell right back into the launcher. Why did it fall right back into the launcher? Well, let's look at this in slow motion to try and figure it out. The cart's traveling across the table with a horizontal velocity, Vx. Since the ball is being launched from a launcher that's on the cart, when it is launched, it has that same horizontal velocity, Vx. Since the cart and the ball have the same horizontal velocity, they have the same horizontal position. As a result, when the ball falls back down, relative to the cart, it's in exactly the same place horizontally as where it started. Okay, I'm going to do this experiment again, first in real time and then again in slow motion. And while you're watching it, think about the components of the velocity involved. Remember, the cart and the ball have the same horizontal velocity, so they keep the same horizontal position. Now, the ball has an extra component. It has a vertical component to its velocity that the cart doesn't have, but that doesn't affect its horizontal velocity. And that's the point of the demonstration. The horizontal velocity and the vertical velocity don't affect one another. So even though the ball has vertical velocity, its horizontal velocity remains the same as the cart. This is to try and convince you that we really can split up two-dimensional motion into two one-dimensional problems.